Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing problem number 2 on decoding function that is maximum likelihood technique. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number 2 of maximum likelihood technique that is decoding function. Here in this problem h is given to us and we need to decode the following words. So what is the difference between the problem number one and problem number two? In case of problem number one, encoding function was already given to us. Remember there were four encoding function E00, E01, E10, E11 that was already given to us and we just need to decode, decode the sequence. But here the problem is we need to decode the sequence but encoding function is not given to us. That means we need to apply type number 3 and we need to first find it out the encoding function and once we get that we can decode the sequence for that purpose let us understand what is m and n so n is the number of rows so 6 m is let us separate it into 2 this is your identity this is your non-identity it number of rows are 3 m is equal to 3 therefore the encoding function is b cube to b raised to 6 on left hand side there will be 3 letters so that will go from 0, 0, 0, it goes up to 1, 1, 1. On right hand side, it will be 6. So first of all, you need to find it out all these terms. So this I have already calculated for you because I hope or I'm sure actually you know this, right? Uh, because from type number 3, now these things are very simple. So first of all, let us uh, find it out E00. So this is the procedure E001, E10, E010. And similar way, you need to find it out all this encoding function. So yes, it's a bit hectic word, uh, hectic work, but you have to do it. You have to find it out all this. Please uh, solve in detail and uh, rectify your, uh, verify your answer. So we're done with encoding function. Let us focus on decoding. For decoding, you know, uh, we make a table. So this is six zeros, starting with the six zeros. That is the code for E000. Next, the code for 001 is this 001011. The next code is for E010. Next is 011101. Next, 100100. Next, 101111. Next, 110010 and finally 111001. So these are the eight codes that we have written on board. What next? We're going to write it on one here, and in every step, one will be shifted to the left side. So this is one zero 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 zero. Next step. See, just wait. What will be the next step? This one will go to one left hand side, again left hand side, again left hand side. See, what is our aim? Our aim is to find it out these words in the given table. Right? If we get these three words in the first three row, that's it. Work is done. No need to find it out the remaining rows. Are you clear with this what I'm trying to say? See, what is my aim? Why I'm making this table? Once I'm done with the table, what I will do? I will try to search these codes into the table. So if I'll find these three codes in the first three rows, do I need to go ahead? No, right? Therefore, and since the table is lengthy, therefore I'm not blindly finding all the terms. First, let's uh, let's first find it out three rows, or you can check. Uh, let's find one row, then second, and then third. And and once you're done with the one row, check which of the following are you getting or not? Are you finding or not? If not finding, go ahead. It is quite possible that in the first row only you will get all the threes because see here one year one year one year so it is possible so you need to go it step by step no need to write it on all and first make the table and search complete one row then search complete second row then search complete third row and search till the time we get all the words if we get all the words we'll stop here will not go ahead so let us move on and let us fill this table so only the last entry will change. So remaining entries will remain same. This is one, this is one that will become zero. Next, this is one, this is zero will become one. Remaining entries will remain same. Here one, so that will become zero. 
here is 0 that will become 1 here it is 1 so that will become 0 0 that will become 1 0 we're done with the first row let us check do we find any of the code here, any of the word here no we are not finding any word here so let's move on now the second bit will change 0 0 1 0 only this will change this will become 0 1 so this will become 0 rest everything will remain same this will become 1 this will become 1 this will become 0 this will become 0 this will become 1 next now this will change let us find uh, let us check whether uh, are we getting any word in these two rows still not getting anything let's move on only the third bit will change so this zero will become one next third bit so this one will become zero so one will become zero third bit this one will become zero next one will become zero so this one will become zero next this zero will become one this zero will become one now let us check are we finding any term here or not zero double one zero zero one see here we finding the first word in the a given table we need to move on obviously we need to continue because there are two more words which are yet to be calculated uh, which are yet to be found out so let's move on let's shift this one to the left hand side and let's fill this uh, row let us check only the second third place this place will change so that will become zero so this is zero 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 one one so this will change this will become one zero one 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 zero next this will change so zero one zero 101 next this will become 1 this will become 0 next this will become 1 and this will become 0 now let us check again see here yes actually it is triple one zero one zero obviously all are of the sixth length so this is triple one zero one zero now let us check see here we got triple one zero one zero that means we got the second word now let us move on let's go ahead now this one will shift to the left hand side so this will change second place will change so this will become one next so this will become zero this will become zero this will become one this will become one this will become zero this will become again zero now let us check see here so we got all the three required words in the given table therefore no need to go ahead and no need to shift one so that's it we'll stop here what is the next we found out all the three words we underlined it what is the next procedure so this is the word go at the top of the table zero triple one zero one zero triple one zero one where exactly see so what is the encoding function for zero triple one zero one it is zero one one therefore this e zero one one will be the code for this see this word also so this is done first one done next triple one zero one zero on top of the table we have double one double zero one zero so obviously see here it's the code for e110 therefore e110 will have one more code this along with this this is the code that is next and finally we have 101001 go to the top triple one zero zero one see here it's the code for e11 so obviously this has to be code for e111 so this is the way we are going to decode the given word based on maximum likelihood technique. So we are done with the problem. Hope you understood. 
Thank you for watching this video. Take care.